So in this problem, we have a we have a box with an open top. Here, I'll just draw it. Um, and we have a known volume. And what we want to do is we want to find the the maximum dimensions uh, to have, I guess, the least surface area that we're using. So it looks like this. So we're gonna have a box here, and we'll say that. Uh, well, let's say the volume. Um, volume. Let's say it's equal to five liters. This tool's not working. Um, which is equal to um, five thousand uh, cubic centimeters. And let's say that it has a square bottom, so uh, this length and this length are the same. And we're not sure how tall it is. Uh, that will be the y length. And also, this would be y here too. So. Um, what we know is, so we have the volume. Now the volume, uh, the air, sorry, the surface area is written, here we can write surface, um, surface area is equal to, well the bottom is a square because it looks like this, right? So we know it's going to be x squared for this part, um, the shaded part here. And now we have to add in the four sides that are, their dimensions are x by y. So that'll be um, plus four times x, y. x, y. Now what we want to do is we have two variables here. We want to eliminate one of them. Um, and so we know that also for the volume of a, a square a cube here, it's going to be um, volume is equal to this dimension times this dimension times this dimension. So it'll be x squared. Uh, times y. And we also have the volume was given to us uh, in the question, so this is going to be equal to uh, 5,000 cubic centimeters. 5,000. And it's easier to do this because then we'll get dimensions in centimeters when we work through this. So let's, uh, let's just isolate y. Um, y is equal to 5,000 oops, 5,000 uh, over x squared. And we could isolate for x, but that we'd have square roots and stuff, so it's just easier to isolate the y here. Um, so now what we're going to do is, now that we have, uh, we know what y is in terms of x, we can just rewrite this formula up here, and we can start solving for the surface area. So if we, we can just write it down here. Um, so let's say, let's call it surface area, let's call this a function, let's just say uh, I said x. Um, this is our surface area, and so it will be equal to x squared plus 4 times x. That hasn't changed. And now we're going to substitute in for y. It uh, was 5,000 over x squared. 5,000 over x squared. All right. And now what we want to do is we just want to differentiate this. So we'll take s prime at t, or sorry, s prime at x. Um, we'll get 2x plus, now this is going to be 4 times the 5,000. Uh, actually, we can cancel out these x, uh, this x here with one of those. So anyways, we'll get 4 times 5,000, we'll have 20,000. Uh, 20,000. And now this is x to the power of negative 1. So we'll actually get uh, times negative 1 um, times x to the, this would be minus 1, so we're going to subtract 1, so this is going to be x to the power of negative 2. That's x. And uh, remember, this is a, this is an optimization problem, so we want to set the, the derivative equal to 0, because we're trying to find the, the minimum amount of surface area here. So let's just clean this up a little bit. Because it's equal to 0, we can, uh, this is going to be negative 20,000, we can just bring it to that side to be positive 20,000. So and that was uh, connected to this term. So what we're going to get is just going to be 2x is equal to 20,000 uh, 20, over x squared. And now we'll multiply both sides by x squared to put it over here. And we'll get uh, 2x cubed is equal to 20,000. Um, and then we'll find that x cubed is equal to uh, 10,000, 10,000, there we go, and then 
x would be equal to, running on a space, um, x is equal to the cube root of 10,000. What we can do here, actually, we can uh, we can rewrite this as x is equal to. We can cancel out these last three zeros and bring out a ten, and then this will still be. Oops, I need some more space. Uh, this will still be times the cube root, but now it's the cube root of ten. And if you uh, if you just um, punch this into your calculator, you'll get somewhere around. Uh, we'll make that roughly equal to. It's uh, about twenty one point five. Uh, centimeters. So now we have the x dimension, so we know that this is roughly 21.5 centimeters and so is this. Uh, now we just need to find the the y dimension. So we'll just punch it back into, here let's go up here, um, we'll just punch it back in. We had y is equal to, or was it, 5,000 over x squared. So 5,000 over x squared is um, Let's write it like this. Um, 10 times 10 to the 1 third. It's the same thing we have below. And then this is all going to be squared. All right, and so now when we work that out, uh, this number here, same thing. This is just an ugly number. Um, but if you type it in your calculator, you'll get something around uh, 464, I think it was. So. Uh, if you divide 5,000 by 464, again, this is just a rough approximation. Um, uh, it's roughly summer, squiggly lines, is equal to about 10.8, roughly. So there we go, our dimensions for this box uh, to have the minimum amount of surface area for this given volume. Um, uh, the, the bottom dimensions, both x values, are going to be equal to about 21.5. And the y, the height of the box here, is going to be equal to about uh, 10.8 centimeters.